A few days ago, a funny thing happened on the way to Mars. SpaceX made history by launching the Falcon Heavy on its maiden flight and sending Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster into space. Originally it was only supposed to go as far as the orbit of Mars, but the Falcon Heavy proved more powerful than originally thought, and sent the car on an orbit that will take it nearly as far as Ceres. Like all of SpaceX's launches, the Falcon Heavy liftoff was broadcast live on their YouTube channel, and was seen by millions. After the boosters jettisoned, the live feed streamed footage from the cameras aboard the two side boosters. At least, that's what we initially thought. Somehow, something went wrong, and the live feed simply showed the same video from the same booster side by side. This is especially obvious when the rockets land. One of the landing pads is black and the other is white. You can see both go down towards the same white landing pad. Needless to say, many space travel deniers have jumped on this, claiming it is evidence of a hoax. This is immaterial. Thousands of people saw the Falcons go up and come back down again. Personally, I didn't think anything of it, but a few days later, SpaceX surprised us all and unwittingly gave deniers some more baseless ammunition. YouTube is very limited with the editing features that it gives its users. You can change the title, the description, and the tags. Recently they added a feature in which you can trim off parts of the beginning and end. So imagine the surprise when SpaceX was able to update the live stream with a corrected video. As you can see, the recording now shows the two different video feeds. One rocket falls towards the white landing pad, and the other towards the black one. Both boosters looking to be on track towards their respective Both landing zones. Both boosters landing have started. Side boosters landing legs have deployed. Contrary to claims made by space deniers, this says nothing about the authenticity of the landing, but it does say something about YouTube. It looks as though YouTube has given SpaceX the ability to significantly edit their YouTube videos, even live streams. At first I thought they simply re-uploaded or re-streamed the corrected video. But I shared the original video link on my Facebook page during the live stream, and sure enough, the corrected video has the same link. Now I do know that rival video upload site Vimeo has the option of replacing the source upload file. Similarly, image upload sites like DeviantArt give you the option of changing the image file that you uploaded. It appears that YouTube has given this ability to SpaceX. My question is, why doesn't the rest of YouTube have this ability? Speaking from personal experience, there are quite a few videos that I've uploaded previously that I would like to go back and revisit. And I'm sure many other YouTube users wish they had the option to revise their previous videos. Be it correcting a narration or typing error that you made, removing a section that you'd like to retract from an otherwise perfect video, or simply replacing an old standard definition video with a HD remaster. Now true, there's nothing wrong with replacing a video containing an error with a corrected version. But this does open the doors to criticism of changing a live feed, which should be considered an historical record. Is it ethical to edit an historical record, even if all you are doing is correcting a broadcast error? One could argue that a secondary link to the original video should also be supplied for historical purposes, and it does open the doors to discussion as to what you should and shouldn't be doing, and what freedoms YouTube gives the uploader of a live stream. Should the ability to edit a previously uploaded video only apply to videos that were not live streamed? Should there be some detailed application forms and proceedings that need to be filled out before such an edit can be approved by YouTube? Or should a detailed explanation be provided by YouTube in the description, explaining exactly what kind of edits were made and how significant they were? I mean, hypothetically speaking, I can imagine there are a few politicians out there who would love to censor things their critics have said about them in a live stream, or things they previously said themselves in speeches or Q&A sessions that are now damaging to their approval ratings. Be no, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. You are fake news. Go ahead. There are so many ways this discussion can go in regard to the ethics of changing an historical record, even for the purposes of correcting a perfectly innocent mistake. But of course, that's not what these flat earthers and space travel deniers are all about. 
The only reason they are hyping about this editing is because they are desperately trying to claim the Falcon Heavy was faked, despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. Such evidence includes millions of civilian witnesses who saw the boosters go up and land with their own eyes and uploaded their own amateur recordings to YouTube. and observatories and individuals all around the world who tracked the Tesla optically as it orbited the Earth. Not to mention the Falcon Heavy's engine firing to take the car to escape velocity and out towards Mars orbit. All that said, in spite of the ethical debates concerning the editing of live streams, there are so many ways the YouTube community can benefit from the function they granted to SpaceX. I'm sure we've all uploaded a video that later turned out to be not as good or as perfect as we originally thought, and wish we could revisit it without losing its established view count, comments and ratings. I invite the entire YouTube community to join me in petitioning YouTube to give everyone this editing feature.